the rain showed up. But it showed up last night. We were sleeping all the way through it, but it's kind of cleaned everything up today. Pretty nice. Today is vlog 498. Uh, wow, uh, we've made some amazing progress. Today I'm gonna be driving up to Montecito, which is just outside of Santa Barbara. I'm gonna go to the Montecito Cars and Coffee. I don't have a guarantee that there will be cars there because of the rain and you know how those guys are. Sometimes they don't want to bring their cars out just in case. But I'm taking the chance because I'm also going to have some coffee with my sister, Jordana. I don't get to see her that often. So, uh, George, I'm coming to see you. Kathy's still asleep, but uh, she's got two days left on this PlayStation costume. Actually, one day left. It's due tomorrow. We're shipping it out to San Francisco, so it looks pretty awesome. I'll show you guys the finished product at the end of the day. Looks like it's gonna be a spectacular day. A single person on the road. This is Southern California at its finest. That's a good color for you. Yeah. What is it? Violet? Lilac. Hydrangea. Hydra hydrangea? Yeah. Hydrangeas are this color. Or one of those colors. I think a car in that color would look good. Not for me. Well, that was revealing. Uh, drove all the way to Montecito and it got totally rained out. So no car show, but we spent the last almost two and a half hours having coffee and just talking. I don't get to talk to my sister that often, so that was kind of fun. And now I get to drive all the way back. Oh, and I got a nasty paper cut right there on my own book. almost into Malibu. I'm still driving the 2017 Hyundai Veloster. You know, this is actually a really nice car and 
I don't normally drive sticks. When I grew up, you know, that was one of the first cars I had was a stick, and it's amazing to see how far these cars have come, even though uh, manual gearboxes are gonna be disappearing soon. The design of the Veloster is uh, is truly unique on, a, on a, a variety of levels, but one in particular has got two doors on the passenger side, one door on the driver's side. It's got some great seats, uh, it's got uh, pretty decent power, and although it's somewhat futuristic, I can only imagine what the next gen is gonna be. I just got home and unbeknownst to me, Kathy bought another dog. So we have Bug and Sammy and we have this guy, Parappa the Rapper. That was Caitlyn Jenner's Porsche. You said you saw her name printed. No, it's on the door sill. You gotta open the door. Oh. Hey, how do you feel now that Parappa the Rapper is no longer in pieces? Oh, it feels so good. Costumes oh. all done and uh, it ships out tomorrow. Kathy's gonna be taking it down to be shipped and then I have all a. All by myself. I have a seminar that I'm given at uh, Our Lady of Malibu, which is a a elementary school. Going to be doing a wacky car seminar. I saw dolphins jump out of the water today. You did? While I was working. Yeah, that's cool. I have the best view, the best shop, wait no, I have the best view from any shop that anybody, that I, people, never mind. <laughs> okay, hold on, start again. I have the best view than anyone has in their shop. In their shop. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Challenge me. <laughs> Show me a better view. Send us a picture of your view from your office or your shop. All right, we're going up into town because I am making some unique dish, which of course I forgot the recipe. Oh my God. Okay, so now we're driving back to the house because I forgot the recipe for this amazing meal that I'm gonna make. It was such a big deal that I actually forgot the recipe. We now have the recipe. It is a smoked sausage skillet. Veggie sausages, of course. Are you gonna use veggie mozzarella cheese too? I, there's... Kathy's wrapping up the shopping. I'm going over to CBS to get some uh, poster boards for the drawings tomorrow for the seminar. Okay, got everything? I don't know. Uh, did you want to make a salad? So you got everything? Yep. Okay. What I'm doing is the sausage skillet. Kathy's working on the rice right there. There she is. You gotta put all this stuff together. So bell peppers, onions, mushrooms. What else? Broccoli. Broccoli, Sausage. vegetable broth, just a variety of different things. Salad. That's good. Super salad.
check this out. See that? Right there? What does that look like to you? Let me show you again. Does that look familiar? You know what this is? This is a part of my tooth. My very back one, up top. And it broke. It broke off. I don't really know why, but it broke off and I have a cap back there. And now, anything cold, anything hot, hurts like hell. So I, I guess I get to take a trip to my dentist up in Oregon. So that'll be fun. I mean, that's a cool thing. Why is my dentist in Oregon? Because he's the best dentist on the planet. And I would rather spend the money to fly up there, stay in a hotel and go to him than to go to any anyone in Los Angeles, anywhere, at any time. It's no longer yesterday. It's actually the following morning. And the reason being is that the, my tooth broke and and I, I didn't, I wasn't really into finishing up this vlog yesterday. And we had a fantastic dinner, which was spectacular, if I do say so. So I got my sexy morning voice going on. I got the crazy bed head, and I got a full day of cool stuff coming at me today. You know, uh, as human beings, we have to fight off something consistently every day. Not people, and not situations. Fight off the barrage of thoughts that come in our head consistently, steam training us on a daily basis. And those thoughts can sometimes be very negative or uh, can inundate you with fear and anxiety about certain things. Any chance that we get to stay present in the moment is a chance where we get relief from those thoughts because that's why we like, you know, uh, everything from surfing to maybe uh, high performance driving, sports, or, you know, uh, or even pain, you know, when, like your tooth breaks. There's a little secret that happens in that present moment. That's where creativity exists. You can't be creative and be thinking about something else, you know, that's going on in your life. You have to stay focused and creativity is all about that. And that's why we strive for creativity. It's why our society structures uh, a, a, a five day work week and then a weekend because the weekend is the break is where we get to, to be present to do the things that we love to do. Now, being present takes work. It takes effort. It's not something that's easy to turn off and on. You gotta learn how to do it. It's like going to the gym. You don't go the first time and expect to look like, you know, big buff guy. You gotta, you gotta go back consistently. And, and what you're doing is you're building a mental muscle. Every day we get an opportunity to stay present and to, and to build that. And the more that you build that, the better you get. And in that moment, that's energy. If you if you can be in that present moment and work on those things and give something positive in that moment, whether it's gratitude or appreciation or love, especially love, the big L word right there, and the energy that you're putting out there is going to come back to you. Now, that's a very important thing to ponder. You know, when you give love, love comes back to you. When you give hate, hate comes back to you. When you give criticism, criticism comes back to you. It's actually very simple. So today, I just want you to practice. I just want you to practice giving out one thing. Give out love towards people, places, and things. Take a moment, be present, and make sure that you give that out, and then watch what happens. Oh yes, the coolness will come. Oh, and one other thing. Did I mention Vlog 500? Vlog 500. Did I, did I mention that?